quick thanks to Kavar Jewelers for lending this beautiful piece into the channel so we could check it out. Now let's see the unboxing experience. All right. Here is your warranty card. Very important now with Oris with the 10 year warranty. So always buy from an authorized dealer like Kavar. And here we see Oris teaching you how to set the time with the new caliber. So it is official. They are not going to re-engineer that jumping minutes hand that some people have. They're just going to explain how to set the time. So basically overshoot it by five minutes and go back like I showed in my Aquis 400 caliber video and I explained it there. Carl Brashear 401 limited edition. Beautiful. And it is numbered 226. Very cool out of 2000. Microfiber. Ooh, look at this box, guys. Look at this box. Yes. Upgraded box from Oris. Let me move this one out of the way. It just has books underneath. Okay. There we see the word Oris. Beautiful dark wood. Very nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that emblem. I believe this is on the case back as well, but we're going to check it out. That's stunning. Wow. And there's the timepiece. Let me get it out. Very nice unboxing. Oh, there it is. Let's get the sticker off. Oh, we got it easily. Cool. I've never seen this before, but I'll unbox it and we'll be right back. All right, the box is put away. Let's check it out. If you want this watch, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code. Introducing the Oris Diver 65 Carl Bresch here, limited edition in full bronze. Look at that beauty. Bronze watches are awesome. At first, they look like rose gold, but as they age, they patina and they have their own character and unique look. And I know some people, when they buy a bronze watch, they dip it in lemon juice, take out any sort of initial patina. Sometimes you might see a little bit of a fading or discoloration. That is the patina starting. So they want it 100% no patina. They dip it, they clean it, then they start wearing their watch and it's kind of a little bit of a fun game to see how your watch will patina, how it's gonna look. So if you guys have any bronze watches, let me know how are you liking them. I don't own a bronze watch, but this one is a strong contender. Now, the K-shape is the typical Skin Diver 1965 Oris Diver 65. What a beautiful K-shape. Relatively flat. Okay, so when you wear it, you might have a little bit of a gap between the strap and the top. I mean, sorry, the underside of the lugs, depending on your wrist shape. But if you've worn a Diver 65 before, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a relatively flat wrist, it's going to be, it's going to be fine. Beautiful brushing on the top and completely polished on the side. It's going to be a scratch magnet, 100%. Beautiful. I'm a fan of this case with a huge crown. It's a winner. Now let's check out the movement. This watch is the first ever Caliber 401. What does that mean? It's Oris's brand new in-house Caliber. Based off the 400, but it has a small seconds hand at the six o'clock. If you guys can see that little sub dial, that's the ticking seconds. No long sweeping hand here. All right, and this is the first time in a Diver 65 case. I used to own a Diver 65. I'm not a fan of the Salida movement or any base ETA movement. If I can avoid it, I do my best to. I prefer the 2892, a little bit higher tier ETA. That's when I start seeing value in the Swiss brands. So I'm happy that Oris has put their in-house in here. That's a huge plus in my book and definitely 
now might want to get back a Diver 65. Now let's check out the measurements. We have 39 and a half in diameter, 12.65 in thickness, and 46.7 lug to lug. All right. So excellent wearability. Goldilocks size. It's going to wear well on larger and smaller wrists. It's, it's just a perfect size. 20 mil lugs. And of course, we have the crown at 6.8. So 7 mil crown. Nice and big. Excellent. Now the bracelet. It doesn't have one. It comes on a Marine National Erica's Original. I've never had an Erica's Original before. They are high quality marine straps given to the Navy. Now, Carl Brashear was a master diver for the Navy, so it makes sense. And it feels high quality, very stretchy. I don't know how it really works. I'm, <laughs> I've never had one before, so I don't know how I, this would fit my wrist. <laughs> Definitely have to, I have a similar style strap on, that I got for my SKX, but there, you probably go like that and then hook it, I believe. But I'll see when we, when we do the wrist shot. Yeah, it's easier to hold now. <laughs> so a lot of people swear by these straps, so I've never had one and they do feel great. Love that it's signed Oris and it's, bronze bronze hardware throughout nice cream color in the middle and dark blue navy to match that navy blue dial which represents the ocean now the case back the case back is so stunning unfortunately the strap is blocking it let me move it out of the way it's very flexible and you can see here it has his helmet that he used to wear while diving it's beautifully engraved and it has his motto, it's not a sin to get knocked down, but it's a sin to stay down. It's amazing. Those words are so empowering and very powerful. And they give a message of hope to keep on going. That's what the foundation, the Carl Brashear Foundation is about. And that is his legacy. Apparently he lost his leg and kept diving. So he is a man who never gave up an amazing spirit and that's why these Oris Carl brochures they do very well for Oris. I believe this is the third one or second one. Let me know down in the comments guys. I know there was a chronograph before and I'm not sure if there was another one. Hmm. Now the bezel and bezel insert all bronze throughout and the insert is bronze. Beautiful. Clicks very nice, a little bit light. No back play. I've opened up these watches before and the way the bezel works is there's just a tab of metal and it passes over it and it flaps. So it's the way it's engineered, it should not have any back play. And it doesn't. So, and very nice. These bezels are easy to remove, easy to maintain. And of course, everything lines up perfectly. Man, the blue, the deep ocean blue on the dial is stunning. Sapphire crystal, beautiful dome, typical of the Diver 65 line. Beautiful distortion, anti-reflective coating on the underside. And now let's check out the dial and hands. Like I said, dark blue ocean dial. Looks so inky blue. And we have patinaed loom and hands. They do match. It's a little bit lighter on the hands. I'm thinking, hmm, maybe a little bit too much text on top of that subdial. What do you guys think? It says water resistant 10 bar slash 100 meters. It's a little busy there. At the bottom, I don't mind the five day in the subdial and Swiss made. I don't mind that but maybe they should take out water resistant and a hundred meters. Just put 10 bar up there or maybe put the 10 bar under Oris or hundred meters under Oris, nice and clean 
nice bold legible font no round font what do you guys think i mean round uh, words what do you think about the dial layout and the use of negative space the indices are beautifully rounded off nine and three are rounded rectangles and the 12 is a rounded triangle so no sharp edges very cool now the price this one is a little bit expensive 4200 usd now that is for oris's in-house movement when they go in-house the price rises over those base swiss movements those swiss etas the base salidas so the it is expected plus it's a limited edition of 2000. let's check out the weight let's get this tag off there we go 82 grams so gonna disappear on wrist gonna feel ultra comfortable like you're not even wearing a watch i'm a fan of the lightweight watches so this is very good and the strap helps of course now let's check it out on the time grapher we have plus 11 now the first number will always ignore 320 amplitude that's insanely powerful 0.2 milliseconds in b air and now we got plus 8 now plus 10. these are rated at plus 5 minus 3 from oris and they are certified at that rating i believe so i should be seeing better it's probably going to take half an hour to settle down this is completely new and technically we're supposed to leave it for 30 minutes for each reading and there you go it settled down to plus four plus four now plus five so in spec and some crazy amplitude definitely going to need some time to break in and we'll probably get more stable results and less snowflakes after that all right so here we go plus four plus five plus five and now plus eight so a little bit out of spec there now plus seven all right we could watch this all day but here you can hear the 288 vph medium beat sounds great i love 288 because you get a smooth sweep but it doesn't really matter too much on this watch <laughs> because the second hand is a tiny sub dial Okay, let's check out the loom. We got a light on in the background, but the loom is doing pretty good. On the hands and on the bezel insert, it is a lot stronger than that faux patina on the dial. A little bit disappointing for a diver's watch, but this watch is a little bit more about style. And here's compared to Seiko's loom, as you can see, it's, it's actually a little bit of a no contest, but this watch again it does have the faux patina and it's tough to get an amazing loom with the faux patina let's blast it yeah it's definitely taking some there we go the second hand is loomed very nice didn't notice that before the blast now here it is under some half lighting beautiful blue dial I love the contrast of the bronze and the blue. It's such a great combination. This watch is beautiful. It's gonna look great on your wrist and it's definitely a compelling option. You got the new in-house movement and it's for the Carl Brashear Foundation. Great cause, a great message, a great message of hope and perseverance. So an all around great watch and it is limited of course now if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one